Hey everyone, Matt from sandrolling.com. I'm going to give you uh, basically this little introduction to uh, volume automation. Um, to do automation is basically to see all these little points. It's basically to get them uh, wherever you want in real time going through a clip. Uh, so we have a clip here of just me talking again. I am recording this to automation and how we balance the sounds and so you can see that obviously I purposely did uh, sounds louder and quieter um, so first we're gonna kind of jump in and be able to see um, our track a bit clearer to see when the peaks and troughs are coming um, we're gonna go into touch and that's basically touches as soon as I uh, let go of the automation of any automation, so I let go of uh, plus six, it'll snap back to whatever automation was originally there. Um, latch would just continue at whatever automation I kind of left it at. Um, so let's just dive right in so you can kind of see. Uh, so I am recording this to automation and how we balance it sounds and voices in sounds. So you can see there that my automation was terrible <laughs> because I wasn't quite expecting uh, where things were coming. Um, but you can you get the general gist. So basically we're going uh, touch and then we're going to be able to I'll show you the difference between latch because then if we press play I am recording and you see it stays at a constant level. Automation. And Whereas, how we if we pause and go into touch, now when we do it, I am recording. It just jumps back. To automation. And how we balance the sound. So this is really messed up, but the general idea is that you go through, you get a feel for all your different tracks, your dialogues. Um, and you try and even them out with ideally a mixing console or you can do it within uh, Soundtrack Pro itself. So that's the introduction.